has major kill here. Um, first time back in a month. I was thinking like, what should I do? Like, I need more views um, because they recently monetized and I made like five bucks just, you know, for memes. And apparently, I don't know, they like you more if you have ads because you make more money. So I was thinking, what gets views? Tutorials get views. That's 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 what does it for me a little bit. And what's a new hot game that's still hot, even though I'm kind of late to the party? Player Unknown Battleground. That's what's hot. I could probably turn the audio on for it. Yes, nice. Okay. Um, so, with this game, we're going to do a beginner's guide. Um, because even though I've played it quite a number of times, won a couple of times, I'm not like a genius with all genius strats. But I know enough that I can guarantee, or 99%, 90% guarantee, because sometimes you just get unlucky, that with this, you can rack up, you'll rack up more kills if you're a beginner. More kills will last way longer. You get better loot, and you'll just have a generally better experience. So, um, like I said, I'm not the best in the world. Um, my rating, oh, Asia, my rating's actually gone down because I haven't played in a while. It's actually decayed pretty bad, but I've got a, I've got a mostly positive KD for all game modes. Yeah, positive KD for all game modes except squad. 140 kills. Um, Five wins for squad and only one win for solo and quite a decent number of top ten. And I, I don't play a whole lot, but it's it's acceptable. If you win a solo, you're not bad. You've beaten a hundred other people, you're not bad. Um, yeah, so um, that's what we're going to be going through today. So obviously this is the menu. Don't need to go much further than that. You click play, and the, the first step, the first thing you go into when you join a um, player unknown battlegrounds is you go into the you'll see in a second when the shit loads but I call it the island I'm pretty sure everyone just call it the island because it's a fucking island you know um, and you, may, you might be in this island being like this is shit what am I doing here like there's nothing here for me hold on oh, it takes a while to load oh. but no what you should do is you should run over to a table and grab a gun straight away preferably a sniper rifle Pair this fucking sniper rifle. Um, my frames are a bit jittery because I've been recording at a really high bit rate for this first bit. But you go back with this sniper, and that missed. But and you just shoot people, and you engage. This because you're a beginner. You, there's a lot of guns here you won't get a hand of, and there's a lot of shots you won't take. The bullet drop and all that shit in this game can be a can be like quite a bit for a lot of people. So you really gotta. Do what you can. I don't know, my game's like breaking because I'm recording too. I right, well, but yeah, or oh, yeah, but yeah. Basically, I reckon you step back. The car's better. And just, just aim. Get, get a bullet gauge. The blood in this game is pretty obvious, um, because it's quite heavy. But honestly, pre-game lobby isn't useful. I don't know, like the racist ranting and shit. But that's what you should do in pre-game. Grab a sniper, take shots at people, get your gun in. Okay guys, moving on to the map. The map itself is 8 by 8 square kilometers, represented by those uh, big, big square thingos. Um, not thingos, grids. Um, so there's a lot of locations with a lot of names. Um, just before I go any further, you've got to remember, just because there's a name on it doesn't mean it's where you want to go. There's a lot of named places that are rubbish, and there's a lot of unnamed places that aren't rubbish. So this um, this this map, this is where you spawn. This uh, this uh, nice little uh, piece of red circle in the corner. Um, I'm pretty sure, yeah, there's an invisible covering that island, so don't try and go to it thinking you can put some shit off the table or let people let it. But it's just like a nice little fun fact knowing it's... Uh, in the same vicinity um, and moving on these are all the I don't want to say noob too much but although this is a beginner guide this is where the um, the main hot spots I like to call them are because there's good high risk high reward not, not high risk high reward um, a lot of players a lot of good loot um, flock to these spots um, so obviously you got the main towns like Yazamaya, Pachinki, uh, Roshock which is I, I tend not to go to Roshock but it is probably hot um, George Pole is really good in my opinion because it's so massive. Um, Pomorski and then obviously Military Base. Nova. Nova is extremely good. Um, I've circled these places because they're pretty much guaranteed to get you level 3 gear 
with assault rifles, with four times and sniper rifle attachments. They're just it's that's that's where the party's at. But um, if you go to if you pick any to land at any of these places and others, which I'll go into a bit further in a second, um, expect to have to kill one or two people to get what you want. Um, so what I haven't obviously you you guys might be like, what the hell? Why is a bunker in here? What about gun range? Or what about the sunken town? Blah blah blah. There's a cluster of houses here. Why is it Malta? These are the ones where you should go when you're not terribly familiar with the game. The gun range can be confusing and it's pretty crap in my opinion. The bunker is highly contested pretty much every game and unless you've got good quarter combat because you can't avoid people. Unless you grab a gun and then leave straight away, you cannot loot the bunker without having to fight one or two guys. And these guys, they go to the bunker for a reason. They don't go because they're, they're shit aim. Like I love the bunker as you'll, as you'll see in the upcoming clips, but um, yeah, not for everyone. These are the spots where you want to go. These are my favorite being Nova and George Hall. And I actually like the military base a lot. So this is like a standard plane pathing. Um, obviously it comes down maybe from close to the island. And it goes kind of like throughout the middle of the place. Obviously they're not all like this. Obviously there's a lot of variation where each plane can land uh, or go. But um, that's, that's, the general, uh, that's the general pathing. And you might think, obviously, oh, I'll go to these these hotspots. They're close. It's a quick little drop. Um, there's nice. There's a lot of variety. But if you think about it, a lot of players are going to see those hotspots, and a lot of players are going to think, huh, that's six hotspots for 100 players. Obviously, like a bunch of players won't go for those, but a lot will. You'll have four people in bunker, maybe five. This is this is saying solo games. Squads probably more. Um, the crater will be covered, um, Lepovka, Yazimaya, and it's, there's nothing wrong with going to those ones, but you're guaranteed 99% chance, unless you get lucky or you're just a really pacifist, that you will encounter another player, and they will probably have a shotgun, and you pro probably will have a shotgun as well, and they'll just be quicker, as in my case a lot. Um, so even though they seem like the obvious ones, we don't actually want to go to those ones. The ones we want to go to are actually the ones further away. You might be thinking, "What the the fuck? That's uh, that's uh, that's pretty retarded." But um, there's a lot of there's a lot of method behind the uh, retardation behind that, and it's the fact that I, I'm teaching a guide to get high ranking, top ten, top thirty, top twenty, top ten, get some kills, be in a really good position. All of these places, especially Nova, have crap load of cast spawns. Spawns multi power plants got like three. George Paul's got a bunch. And then there's some up north as well near um, 70. But basically, you want to go to these ones because there's a low chance of players. And if you can get three minutes, let's say you land, let's say you land, you, you have to either run a bit, swim a bit, drive a bit, or maybe you're really good with a parachute and you can make it all the way there. You get uncontested, like three to, three to five minutes of free loot of a hotspot. And now I'm talking level three everything. I'm talking... Snipers, cars, ARs, everything that will set you up to increase your statistics of winning the game. Because this game's statistics. It's skill, but it's statistics as well. You gotta use the stats in your favor. You gotta use chance. So um but yeah, always for this for this situation, I would probably aim for Malta or Nova, um, maybe even George Paul. <clears throat> but um obviously I'm not it's not always gonna be no one there. I'm just saying using stats there is a lower chance you'll encounter um, players or a great number of players if you go to these spots. And you might be thinking, they're kind of out the way though, like what about the circle? Like I said, the circle's random. Um, you could end up totally in the middle of the circle if you get lucky, or um, if not, there's car spawns in all of those, in pretty much in every hotspot. Yeah, there are car spawns in every single hotspot, um, and you take those. So um, that's it for maps, that's it for where you should drop. Um, obviously, um, you guys would have your own ones like hospital, um, maybe yeah, bunker, like I said before, maybe the clusters on the coast. There's a bunch of clusters of nice houses that have really clear gear. But I'm just saying, as a beginner who wants clear, concise places to go, these are the best places that guaranteed you will pick up an AR, uh, like a minimum level two gear as well. Minimum level two. So I thought 
I'd let you guys joyfully hear the um, the plain, the good, good old plain banter. We can focus on the drop now. Um, basically, the drop. It's, there's a few ways to do it. If you want to get to the ground as fast as you can, you press W, shift, and point your cursor down. You'll hit terminal velocity, and you'll go to the ground fast. If you want to make it far, you obviously do the opposite. Um, with landing, as we can see here, you land faster if you twirl around in a circle. You hit maximum speed and it also keeps your position central so you don't have to just fucking like bank left or right um so obviously i've gone to a spot which isn't named um to try and avoid conflict with other players so i've run along it's all it's all it's all going rather jerry and i see these houses i'm like hey warehouse warehouses are nice always if you can go for warehouses they pretty much always have something nice in them if not multiple things um, in every single one of these shorts and clips you'll see, like, yeah, see, like, it's not a great deal, but it's enough. It's enough to, it's enough to get you going, you know? So, um, yeah. So, we grab the UMP, doing alright. We're gonna see what's happening. Um, I, there was people who landed earlier before, but, um, I feel like in this situation I have time. So I'm not going to control C sprint, I'm literally just sprinting around. Like just trying to get as much stuff as I can, trying to get an AR, a shotgun, maybe some scopes. Something something nice and handy dandy. Um, obviously, um, attachments, SMG attachments on SMGs. Um, when you look at an attachment and the icon of the weapon appears, that means it can go on that weapon. Um, same with ammo, so that's how you can tell if you weren't aware. But yeah, what you're looking for basically is... Um, gear so helmet backpack chest you're looking for a primary and a secondary um early game it's good to have an ar and then a shotgun secondary because we're close quarter um, and then you're just looking for medicine after that ammo medicine gear and then attachments um and once you've got all those you're all good um reloading a weapon the ammo from a weapon um actually reduces the weight of your backpack but it just goes into your weapon so make sure all your weapons are loaded to save space um, similar type of thing goes for um, attachments, they don't take up any weight at all if they are actually attached to one of your guns, so I think that's, that's pretty snazzy. But yeah, the start of the game, you don't want to have to be scrambling to kill everyone, you want to get ready. Um, and yeah, so priority for loot is probably um, pistol, backpack, AR, or pistol, backpack, SMG, Vest, helmet, AR, shotgun. Let's just like example, example tier list for how you should do it. You see, I got a four X at the moment, which is pretty good. Fine, um, a UMP, which is also not bad. Um, so I've gone out. I've heard shots nearby, so I'm just gonna get ready to take them on, whoever it may be. Um, because I'm sticking near a house, I'm going shotgun. If I turn the corner, I can just blast some guy away. Um, yeah, you just got to be smart with which weapon you have drawn at one time. Having a shotgun drawn in an open field is never a good idea. But I can hear a guy. So, um, I'm just trying to sound tall, basically. I think he's upstairs. Oh, but he's there, actually. So... Just because I had I could see him doesn't mean I should take a shot. So I'm gonna try and play it as smart as I can. So UMP ain't really known for its range, but I did manage to tag him once or twice. Um, although there are shots coming from somewhere else, I just have to be careful now. Um, and uh, now we're in a bit of a stalemate. Um, just when you're in these kind of situations, you've got to try and be aware of your surroundings and move around to make it unpredictable. But at the end of the day, like if you can't kill them and you need to move, just move. Um, and then you maybe you can bait them. Maybe you can fall back. They push up to you because they're outside the play zone and then you can kill them as they're pushing up. But honestly, it's not worth sitting there for five minutes in a standoff with some guy that probably has a better gun than you. Yeah, there's no, never anything wrong with leaving. So yeah, obviously I, I look back, I want to see if he's come out and run. I can't see anything, obviously. By this time I've got massive range distance. He would have to have like a 
eight times and a sniper to cleanly kill me at this moment. Like, there are a lot of good people in this game who will be able to do that, like, with the uh, iron sights to from there. But, yeah. Um, all houses spawn with their doors shut. A door open means someone's opened it. Um, oh, and then, yeah. saw that. I'm really good at shooting. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Okay, so I've killed the guy. Um, even though he should have definitely killed me. I, it was so bad. I hate SMGs. Please don't judge me. But um, basically, so now what I want to do is now I want to loot him. So I check my surroundings. I met up and I go loot him. Let's see what he's got. Good stuff. Yep, looks alright. Oh, and that is why this game is unfair. 100 players, 8 square kilometer map. I kill a guy, I check my surroundings, I go loot him, and I get hit in the back with a shotgun. You got first thing you gotta learn about this game is if you lose, don't rage quit. You just gotta chin it. That will happen many times. Shotguns are AIDS, getting shot in the back is AIDS. The game is AIDS. It's something you accept when you play. Alright, so we saw what it was like to go to a non-contested area. Um, this was me going for a bunker and I actually got um kinda lucky with this one, but I'm just gonna show you a quick fast forward after I win of the difference in loot. In the other one, I didn't get any level 2 stuff, it took me ages to get level 1, and by the time I got it, all I had was a UMP and a few attachments, nothing to really show for it. Heading to the bunker, I was kind of lucky, because it's like, like I said, we're in the map section, um, if it's far away from the drop, you're fine, but um, yeah, I, I get a military shotgun, a crossbow, a pan, which is the best melee weapon in the game, because it deflects bullets, um, and then, yeah, I do track down an SKS, and I'm pretty happy where I am. One initial quick loot, and I've got a best shotgun in the game, in my opinion, semi-automatic, um, and an SKS. So this is the same game. I've moved out beyond the bunker. I'm in a strong position, and I'm shot. So this happened, and i got to find out where the guy is. So he's there. I found him. Um, the tree provides me cover because I know the angle. Um, he's trying to take pot shots. You can probably see my arm or something, but he's not quite nailing them. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna met up and then move. So you don't want to get pinned down at a tree. It's really actually kind of hard shooting, driving people. But he's driven off. He's gone like, no, nah, never mind. Um, not worth the fight. So obviously, I'm like this guy. I put on my eight times that I got from the bunker. I'm gonna give him a bit of a go. See if I can get a cheesy shot. Unfortunately, I don't actually get a kill. I'm not even sure if I hit him, but maybe I popped a tire. I don't know. He's definitely sent running. Um, you got to be conscious though, because now that 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 was a gunfight, people in the area have heard that gunfight. People now know that there is a um, there is potential targets here, and people love chasing bullets. So I'm gonna move into a bit of cover, not in the open, and I'm gonna watch my back a bit. Like a gunfight doesn't have to end at the death of one party. Like it's pretty chill. There's another pan there, but I already got one from the bunker. Oh, and I'm just, um, I'm just going to put the fast forward now here. Um, just a bit of loot, just chilling. Um, no nothing is really happening at this point of the game, so what's the point in showing? It's just, yeah, like, I've just shown I follow a ridge. Every time I see a house, I check it, try and be careful about it. Um, yeah, high ground is good ground. Cover is good as well. And just always be trying to stay on the rim of the circle. If you're in the middle of the circle, you can get shot from every angle. If you're on the ridge, you can only get shot from the front. That's like the idea, or the edge. Um, I've taken a DAS here to try and get in the circle, in a better spot in the circle. The DAS is the best vehicle. And uh, let's see where it goes from here. So I've, I've pulled across the, um, the bridge. Um, I'm suspecting people will cross as well. That's why I've pulled over. I'm sure I can chase a kill or two maybe. And we're just, yeah, we're, we're stocking up. So I've had a long game. I don't think I've killed anyone, actually. Um, but it's it's been it's been intense. There's, there's not too many people left. We're in, we're in the 20s. It's probably 30, like I said. Th it, I pretty much every game, unless I get unlucky at the start, um, it, it's guaranteed below 30. So I'm trying to suss out where I am, looking around. Um, alt pressing so I can look around. I'm using this cover. So I can hear a vehicle coming. And... Um, such as life, I get shot in the back. 
Um, that, that's what the game's like, just as before, getting shot in the back is not a happy way to die. And um, here's me kind of crossed back. So I've been ambushed on the bridge by another player and I've instantly tagged him pretty well. So he's stuck for cover. I'm aware that the blue's actually behind me, so I need to get a move on, but he does actually have the <coughs> stronger position on me at the moment. So I have to be aware of that. Um, he's taking advantage of that and he is drilling in the pain. I'm quite low on health, but there are actually other players up there fighting each other, which is what I'm going to use for cover. So I'm obviously going to I'm going to pop a um, pop some meds. He can see me, but I'm pretty covered by metal, and it's the only cover I'm going to get. And the blue is creeping up on me really quickly, um, so I'm going to have to make a move. I'm still in cover. He knows exactly where I am, but I've been dealt a rough cut hand, and I have to just go for it. So, as you can see, the blue's closing around. I have to get up this hill, and I am copping fire again. And now I'm copping blue damage, and this is a reasonably, like, damaging blue. It's a pain in the ass. So, I spotted the guy up there. I instantly fuck him up, but he got enough bullets into me, and unfortunately the blue's able to claim me. It just shows how rough this game can be. Um, he had the high ground the entire time. I ran to him. I blew his face off. Almost got the kill on him, but... You know, um, it's unfortunate, but what can you do? Due to our current low budget, I've had to um, switch back to my gaming microphone, which is notoriously bad. So we're going to have to deal with that for the rest of the game. Um, and I am, um, yeah. So basically with this one, I've dropped down on a roof because that's where the best loot is. And starting top floor is better than starting bottom floor. <laughs> It's also good if you really need to scram to get a good gun to fuck someone up. But as you can see, it's paid off. I've gotten a level 3 vest, some good stuff. So anyway, I've come downstairs and I can hear a guy in this house. I've got a UMP, and my theory is he'll run out, I'll have the advantage, and I'll kill him. But I'm really, really bad at the game, so it doesn't pan out the way I wanted to, and I promptly die, achieving nothing. Yeah. You might be thinking, God, this guy fucking sucks, why am I getting much in this video? Well, although I'm bad at the actual mechanics and shooting at the game, my decision making is pretty spot on. As you're about to see, this is actually one of my good ones. Um, in that other one, the odds were in my favour and it was a good decision, but he was significantly better than I was and I got a bit unlucky with my shooting. Um, so, I hear someone shooting in the distance, so I'm not really keen on running out and taking them on with a shotgun. So I'm just going to wait and try and assess the situation. I'm third person checking, I'm seeing what's going on, and I spot a guy there, and I can see he's distracted and aiming, so I'm going to run towards him, see, so I am I only hit one bullet out of the three, like showing how bad I am, but because I played it to such like a numbers kind of game, like a statistics game, statistically I was going to beat him, because I played it like that, I was actually able to get like the better of him, and get the kill, despite him probably being a better player. That's what I mean by player by the numbers. I mean literally, every encounter, everything, go to yourself. What are the odds I will win this? If odds are in your favour, take the chance. Alright, the clips are definitely getting more exciting now. Um, which should have been the original idea behind it, but you know. Um, this, is, this is further on, this is actually a couple when I've played a quite a few number of games, up to a hundred I think, and um, and this is high to high, high rounds, like this is how many people alive, 21 people alive, um, this is the same game obviously as the one I showed with the shoddy, I've progressed a lot, level 3 backpack, a car, I've got an M4, like we're doing alright, and uh, I've noticed the box here, and I'm a bit sus because dead bodies, I mean, they were killed obviously, so I'm going to have a look down here, I'm going to run towards the edge, loop around, just checking all my bases. I'm moving in case someone takes pot shots at me so I can quickly get down. And I've decided to prone and go for it. Um, prone because there's no indicators, there's no like, look at this guy, this guy's here, like, fuck him up kind of thing. Um, in this game, it's, it's, literally, um, it's literally just what it is. And I don't think I actually grabbed the cheek pad for the car, which I'm kind of embarrassed about. But um, I did get a four times off this guy for my car, um, he had some meds, he had some good shit, and it was just, that's how you do it, that's how you loot a body. Like you saw me before, how I looted that guy straight away and got hit in the shotgun, I kind of deserved it. This one, 
literally that's how you loot people 101 um so this clip is a little bit drawn out feel free to like go through it a little bit but basically i'm running along and this is why i use a pan ladies and gentlemen watch closely one two i got shot three times i got shot four times my pan deflected one fucking bullet that bullet would have killed me my pan saved my life that's why you got a fucking pan so, the guys over there, I don't want to peek because I've got a level 1 helmet, that's like a pretty easy headshot kill. So I'm just kind of waiting for him. And, um, he gets in a vehicle, so... Obviously I gotta shoot him, but he knows where I am, he's just being careful. And I actually got stuck and panicked for a second because I thought the blue was gonna get me, but it was all good. So when you're running, like, you gotta run in these situations. If you're gonna get into playing time, you gotta run. You can't crawl it or, um, crouch walk it or crouch sprint it, you don't have enough time. But look around, check your surroundings, like press alt, look around, make sure there's no one on your flank. And for me, you'll see in a second, but I actually got this next kill, well I actually got this next guy because I was alt looking. So I see the guy, gauge the range, uh, M4 is my favourite gun, I'm like pretty okay when it comes to accuracy with it, not the best. But yeah, I score my second kill of the game because I was ulting around, got three or two shots on that guy before he got one. I'm not going to loot him though because I don't actually think he's in play, and it's a bit risky, but... I'm in a really, really strong position, Ed edge of the map, got some tree cover, doing alright, you know, but as this game goes, can't really trust being in a good position, and someone promptly spots me, I think he's on that side, but turns out he's behind me, and he drops me with his scar, and I had, it was annoying, but that was a fun game, I came 15th out of 100, 2 kills, got a nice score, and that's the kind of thing I'm trying to show you, because I played a numbers game, I actually did alright. This next quick lesson is just to show that proning, you don't need cover to get cover. Um, so I alt looked around, I spotted this guy, um, and I was like, you know what, fuck it, I'm going to shoot this guy. I don't have a four time, so the range is a bit off. I do take shots where I can, and I think I tag him once or twice, but then he returns fire, obviously. But what I've done is I've proned. I've proned in shadow and grass. He can't actually see me. So that he can't actually shoot. But I've gotten up again, he's shooting me again, and I prone again. Legit, proning, you don't understand how hard it is to shoot someone prone in grass. Like, he can't, he, I don't even think the guy can see me. So he's standing up, and he's, I think he's trying to bait me to get up. So, he got the headshot, but honestly, uh, yeah, obviously if it was better, I would have done well. I played the numbers game, the numbers game didn't work for me, but... I did what I could, and you know what, it wasn't bad. It's just a general strategy, go prone. You guys will like this next part, I reckon. Like, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a bit of fun. So, um, I've landed the bunker, I've gone, fuck it, I'm feeling edgy. Uh, I've picked up an SKS and an M16 really quick, and I'm able to put some attachments on my M16. Um, I can hear a guy, so I'm like, hmm, that's not okay. Uh, I'm gonna kill you now. So I'm going to wait for him to pop out, he never figured out where I was, I killed him pretty easily, he didn't have body armor I don't think. And um, yeah, happy days. Uh, so what I've done is, I'm going to keep looting, but I'm also acknowledging that if he's here, there's other people here, and I'm going to have to probably fight for the bunker. So I'm just going to play it careful, play it smart, I'm going to stay crouched, take the painkillers, give him a quick loot, because uh, it's solo, so we didn't have a buddy like dry humping him either. So I take his shit, take his ammo. Gets his backpack. We're doing alright. So I'm thinking, alright, uh, it's time to move on. I've gotten all the good shit. And then someone starts shooting at me. So I've gone, oh, okay, so I've taken one shot. Not too bad. And I'm going to try and, like, you know, obviously kill him. Um, I don't entirely know where he is. And he spots me. I can see his flash. And I've taken more damage. So I'm thinking, alright, there's only one place I can appear from and shoot him from. There's multiple he can shoot me from. So... Statistically, because we're doing a numbers game, I'm going to lose this fight. So, I'm thinking, I'm like, alright, how can I flush this guy out? Um, like, we can both be patient. We're in the blue, so we've got more time in the world. I'm going to see if I can get a cheeky nade on him. Obviously, that's not going to work. The nades definitely won't get over his cover. And I'm thinking, you know what? F fuck this. Like, he can sit there. He thinks I'm still there. I get more free loot while he's freaking out and aiming at that one corner. So, um... Yeah, I'm, I'm sitting there, uh, well, I'm not sitting there, I've left, he's still sitting there. I'm, I'm just going to keep going through, having a jolly time, and I know for a fact eventually he'll come out, and eventually he'll realise I wasn't there, as he probably already has. Um, I'm predicting that by this time he's probably had his way over, 
So, I'm just going to wait for him. Um, yeah, like, what's he going to do? He doesn't know I'm here. He can't actually see me, even if he third persons this part, but I can see him. Um, and so, yeah, uh, I'll just wait patiently. He probably thinks I'm gone, but obviously he's going to play it careful. Um, I do switch to burst fire, because that's the way to go. And I get an instant headshot and fuck him up. And get the second kill without taking a bullet from this guy. And that's actually how, that is honestly how you play the bunker. Like, you play it carefully, you play it walls. I didn't even, I didn't even have a shotgun and I still did this. Shotgun's like the hottest gun to have in the bunker because of the, the uh, short range. But, um, yeah, um, then the whole bunker's mine. I've, I've won the competition, I've killed everyone else. Um, there's nothing to compete over anymore. It's pretty much all looted by now. And I'm pretty content with, um, with, uh, with heading, heading off. Um, so, I, I checked the last of the attachments. Because of the bunker, I'm able to find three extended quick draws for an AR, which I can't use any of. Um, which is unfortunate, but, you know. So, I'm going outside. I see a potential loot spot over here. And I'm thinking, alright, cool, there's definitely no one here. I'll, I'll be careful when I get to the house. Next minute, there was someone there with a fucking, I'm pretty sure it was a double barrel shotgun. And he just kills me. Because that's, that's, uh, that's what this game does, apparently. Which is just fucked. But, um, there you go. Like, no amount of well-played bunker action can save you from a double barrel shotgun to the back. Next stop is Georgia Pole, uh, one of my good old favourite spots. Um, I love it, it's good loot, and it's very big. Um, so obviously you instantly go to the top of the crates, because that's where the good stuff are, and um, that means no one's probably got an AR that early on, so you do have a bit of luxury to um, fuck around a bit in that way. I do go around, I don't exactly get prime time items and guns, I do get a level 3 backpack, but, you know, like, that doesn't block bullets, so... Um, so I'm going along, and I'm just showing the looting because I'm showing, like, where loot spots are, warehouses, those towers have sniper rifles in them, top of the crates always have good stuff, and, um, and you'll, and all, but all I got to show for it was a, uh, UMP. So, um, I've noticed, uh, so I'm going along, and I noticed someone in the distance, in a second, when I'm done, had my fun. Um, and yeah, I do pick up a sneaky level 3 backpack. So two level 3 items, I don't know what my vest is, level 2 probably. And I notice someone running across, and I'm like, shh, we got him. Now watch my accuracy. So, um, not my, uh, proudest moment, you could say. Um, I did kind of want to kill myself after that, because when I used all my ammo, didn't kill the guy, and that was literally, that was literally like 70 bullets, I didn't hit one. That's like a 0% accuracy out of 70, which is pretty sad, but, you know, I've moved on. Shit happens. So, um. I'm looking at the blue because there's people that, if they start at a hospital, will probably run from that direction. This is like, that's if you, but I get shot, obviously, someone's on the top of the hill, I would assume, and I can see him running down. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to try and redeem myself. If I can get a shot on him, which I don't because I suck. Oh, I'm so sad. I hate my life. This next part is gold. The resolution's fucking cooked because I changed monitor, but I didn't change recording settings, so half my body and my stats and everything are cut out. But nevertheless, this is the best shit ever. Are you watching? I can hear a vehicle, and I'm like, hmm. 
The blue's coming in. Fuck you. One shot. Kills the driver. Oh, I literally got an erection when I did that. It was the best thing ever. And now... And now, um, I'm chilling. And it's like, oh, well, what a god shot. Like, what else is going to happen now? Like, so exciting to see. And I'm thinking, I have all the time in the world because he's cars there. It doesn't matter what I do. I'm perfectly safe. So I'm going along and I'm going to loot this motherfucker because I, oh, I fucking raped him. That was just one shot, one headshot, bang. Gone. He would have been so surprised. You can't actually see my health bar, which is actually, I think, uh, kind of good, because this is, like, this is, like, really tear-worthy in terms of, um, what occurs, in my opinion. So, he has tons of ammo. He's got some, he's got an AKM. I can swap my crossy for it. Like, I wasn't in a strong position at all. Like, I, have, I had shit gear. Obviously, he wouldn't have a helmet, because I blew his head off with one shot, but I get all the ammo in the fucking world, um, and we're happy as Larry. So I'm going to go along, I'm still feeling confident because I know I've got the car there, and that is, uh, that's when disaster strikes. Um, well, I mean, I'd, I'd take, I'd take fucking, you know, the meds first, obviously. I ain't a savage, but I'm thinking, alright, I should probably get in the vehicle soon, after I attach shit. And the vehicle's kind of still rolling a bit, I'm like, that's fine. That's fine. And, um, what do I do? Yeah, so I go to drive the vehicle, and it's not letting me drive the vehicle, so I'm like, come on. And it's only letting me passenger it. And I now know that you can press, like, Control F1, and it will put you in the driver's seat, but I didn't know that at the time. And I can't drive the fucking car, which is a problem, because I'm stuck. So I'm like, fuck. Fuck. I'm like, fuck, the circle's ages away. I'm like, fuck, I have to run. Like, I got 30 seconds to, like, fucking run that far. I'm like, shit. So I'm running. And I'm like, fuck, what do I do? What do I do? Like, I'm freaking out. Like, I was like, I literally just got the best kill ever. And now, now I'm going to fucking, like, just die to this shit, this bullshit. So I'm going to run along the road. Uh, I've got tons of meds for it, but, like, fuck that. And I've only got 10 seconds, pretty much a 30 second head start. And what doesn't help is, as I'm going along with five seconds, there's another motherfucker here. I'm like, shit, shit, kill the motherfucker. Kill the motherfucker. Fucking, jeez, fucking die cunt. So, I fucking, he shoots me like twice, I fucking kill that guy, I'm like, shit, that took a bit of time up, so I'm fucking running, I'm like, I had time for this shit. So, what begins is the most desperate fucking run of my fucking career, which is just fucked. So, I've put the fast forward on, and I'm running, this is like, this is cross country shit, like, I've played this so well, like, my accuracy was second to none, I wiped out two guys, I'm fucking going, I'm gonna make it, like, I, I have to make it, and you can't see my health bar, so there's so much suspense, but I'm not exactly in a healthy situation, let me just, let me just tell you that much, so I'm going along, I'm going along, and I'm thinking, fuck, we might make it, like, we might actually make this shit, and um, we're doing well, and I see the blue, and I'm like, alright, it's right there, it's right there, it's right there, but... And then when I heal, I've only got like fucking 10 seconds to get to the next blue. Well, less than. So I'm still in the fucking blue. So I'm like, shit, shit. And it's just here. And I can smell it. But it's just over this ridge. And I'm like, oh, come here. Please, 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 please. And I'm, I'm going to make it. I might actually make it. And I'm thinking, fuck, I've been taking so much damage for so long. Is this my break? Is this where I'm going to get away? Is this where I can start a family? And I fucking die. Oh my god. This is the shittest guide ever. My number one guide is just play with your good mates and they'll carry you and then you can get good win percentages and shoot people in the back with shotguns and fucking just drive around everywhere because that's how you win, okay? Fuck.